السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 1971 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of all, may Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 16th of Ramadan. It was on the 16th of Ramadan, 727 after Hijrah, the 5th of August, 1327, Allama Kamaluddin Muhammad bin Ali Al-Ansari passed away. He was one of the greatest Shafi'i jurists and scholars and was the Qazi and judge in Halab in Syria. Halab Aleppo is the place from where our Honorable Ustad, Sheikh Muhammad Ali Sabuni, who passed away just one, two months ago there in Turkey, and Sheikh Abdul Fattah Abu Hudda, the great Muhaddis, also passes away, and is buried there in Medina Manowara, and the Khattatul Quran, Sheikh Usman Taha, so remember that he is alive in Medina Manowara, they all hail from Halab Aleppo, so what great giants came from there. If you study the Shafi'i school, you know that Imam Shafi'i was born in 150 in Gaza, and thereafter that he passed away in Cairo in Egypt 204, only 54 years. But he left such a great legacy that Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal used to say, a Shafi'i ka shamsi li dunya, that how the sun illuminates the world, Imam Shafi'i's knowledge and legacy is shining and illuminating the world. And remember in the year 199 he left Baghdad and he spent the last four or five years of his life there in Egypt. And therefore you find that in Syria, Egypt, all these areas, so many Shafi scholars, but those who stand out, remember uh, Ibn Nawawi, Rahimahullah, and you find Allama Kamaluddin. So all these people, yeah, and thereafter in Hadith, Ibn Hajar Asqalani, Rahimahullah, these were all giants of of the Shafi'i school and there are so many others as well so therefore when we study then we must study the books of the Shafi'i scholars to understand the mistake people make now they want to read the books or understand the fiqh and the jurisprudence of the Shafi through the Hanafi books or other books that's not the way of doing it whichever school you want to understand you must go to their books directly and then we will get a much profound understanding see Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua for Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu and other sahaba Allahumma faqihu fi deen Ya Allah give them profound understanding of deen that is what we should be making dua for our beloved children and students and ourselves. Allah ma faqihu fi deen, make him a faqih, deep, profound understanding of Islam. Today people just scratch the surface and they start thinking they are great, great scholars, Allah forbid. Similarly, remember on the 16th of Ramadan, 1426, corresponding to 19 October 2005, Saddam Hussein goes on trial in Baghdad. Remember that we got nothing to do with Saddam, but we believe that he was killed Muslim and he was killed by the Americans and the Shias, remember that. In Saddam's time, remember the Shias were already in majority in Iraq. And but he would rule with a first, you know, strong first, and no Shias could make any movement and so forth. So he just wanted to stay in power. He committed crimes, everything, but we say that he passed away Shaheed. He read the Kalima and remember that he told them that you can do whatever you want to. So, so see today all the problems there and how the Shias are making zulm and oppressing the Sunnis in Iraq. Iraq. Iraq is no ordinary place. It's the land of Anbiya. Nabi Yunus alayhi salatu salam is buried there. It's the land of Sahaba. Salman Farsi radiallahu and Huzaifa bin Yaman radiallahu anh, buried there. It's the land of Fuqaha, Jurist, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Imam Abu Yusuf are buried there. We went to all these places also with Allah's help. And then you see the Awliyaullah are buried there. Hazrat Piran Rebir, Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Hazrat Ma'roof Karhi, Hazrat Junaid Baghdadi. So may all Mighty Allah destroy these enemies of Islam. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmat.